Hello, my name is Catherine Gabriel, and on behalf of the Beaver Lodge Art and Culture Center, I'd like to welcome you to the opening of a brand new show here. We have two fabulous shows coming up, and um, if you um, obviously have not been here, then you'll be able to watch this on, on um, Facebook. Um, Suzanne Sanbo has been painting for over 30 years, and I first saw this show of Newfoundland at Grant Berg's Gallery about four years ago, and as soon as I saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to bring this to, to Beaver Lodge, and here it is four years later, and we get the opportunity to do this. So, have you ever been to Newfoundland? Yeah. Where are you to? <laughs> so, um, before I introduce Suzanne, who has been painting for over 35 years, and uh, she's a member of the... Um, a Federation of Canadian Artists, a senior, signature senior member, which is like right up there, and um, also the Society, of, uh, Alberta Society of Artists as well. And uh, she's got her artwork uh, all across Canada, in Europe, across into the States. So she's uh, an award-winning artist. Um, the last piece that I saw of hers that was a number one um, placement uh, was at the Peace River Re Region um, uh, uh, Federation of Canadian Artists and she won first prize there. So I am so happy to have her um, join us in our small gallery here but before I introduce you, thank you all for being here today. Um, in 2017 I had a wonderful opportunity to travel to Newfoundland with one of the gals from our office. She was um, heading home for summer vacation and I kept saying to her, oh, I'd love to come with you. And so finally, about a week or 10 days before she was due to go, I just decided to go and luckily was able to still get a ticket and off we went. Um, so she lived in, she grew up in Bain Harbor, Newfoundland, which is on the boot. And so we flew to St. John's and then we traveled for about three and a half hours into the late wee hours of the morning because you, you arrive late at the end of the day. and. Um, we, we arrived at her place, I think it was around 1 or 1.30 in the morning, and uh, I was fortunate to rent a little house. Um, I think it was about 500 square feet, and it was right on the harbor, in Bain Harbor, and overlooking the water and the boats, and it was, it was just amazing. Um, I couldn't have been more fortunate. Uh, I rented a little SUV, and then for two weeks, I traveled up and down the coastline, uh, in and out of the little fishing towns, and little quaint little spaces that are there um, finding places to paint and looking at the local landscape and visiting and meeting the local people who were so kind and generous and interesting and it's just if you've never been to Newfoundland and if you ever get a chance to go it's if you really need to do that and you know I was there for two weeks um, on the southern shore line you know, along the boot and, and I mean I didn't get up up north and there's so much to see you could easily spend a month just but anyways um, um, the people there were true and genuine and friendly and they were uh, I found the the yards beautifully manicured and taken care of and I expected there to be you know maybe a little ruggedness here and there but really it was so incredibly beautiful everywhere I went um, and there was so much to see and the people were just so, they were so interested in what I was doing and, and they also wanted to tell me their story and you know, I'd be painting, I, I went out and painted every day and somebody would come along and want, want to hear my story and then they wanted to tell me theirs and it was so much fun, you know, it was so, it was so incredibly interesting. Um, just, uh, I'll talk about a couple of the paintings here along this wall. This one here, for instance, um, I was heading to, actually toward the end of the, the boot the one day to paint the one on the far left there. And I came around this corner and out in the bay there was a dock and the fishermen were out um, and they were what appeared to be, appeared to me to be load, unloading their boat and the, the fishing lines and stuff. And so I drove on by and I was a little leery and I, I wanted to actually stop and go visit with them and then I. I, I passed and I thought, no, you know what, I'm, I'm here to do this. And so I, I turned around and went back and I parked and went out, out on the dock and there was five or six fishermen there and I'm sure they wondered what the heck is this lady doing coming out on the dock <laughs> to talk to them. But anyway, they, uh, I told them who I was and where I was from and what I was doing and, and that I wanted to take some pictures and do some sketching and whatnot and, 
and they, they were really friendly and they, they kind of laughed about it. They thought it was quite hilarious that I'd be, be there uh, taking pictures of them, you know, unloading their boats. And so anyways, I, th I did that. I spent a few hours there with them and then I moved back on and, and painted it the rest of the day at this other site. But um, my friend Jillian that I went with, I was telling her that evening, you know, that they were there and unloading their nets and she says, oh yes, she said, they're hauling ashore the gill nets. And so, you know, that became the title of the painting because they have their own language there, their own way of explaining things and their own words, right? It's different than it is here uh, in Western Canada. So that was just a really special day for me um, there. Um, so, you know, what a, what a lot of fun. The one on the left there as well, um, it was really interesting. Um, when I was painting that, that painting there, the son of the, or grandson, maybe it could have been, but of the landowner came and out to visit me that one day while I was painting. And he was telling me the story about the Newfoundlanders, how in the early 60s, I think it was, a lot of them were relocated off of the islands onto the mainland. The government made people move. And so they floated a lot of the buildings across the water to the mainland. And so these two buildings that are in this picture here, in this painting, were, were actually floated across on barges and relocated. So they were like, these buildings are like 100 years old or 80 years old or whatever. I don't know, they were, they were really old. But anyways, this little building here, they said while it was floating across, it actually fell apart. <laughs> and so these, that was what they were able to rescue of the wood that was left <laughs> and they built this little store. So this is called a stage and this is called a store. And so, you know, there were so many, so many interesting stories. Um, and each little painting that's in here has a story, um, you know, of its own. July 1st, uh, there's a painting here called uh, Happy Birthday Canada. And so, you know, I, I had to paint that one because the flag was flying to celebrate Canada Day. And that day also, I went um, to another place called Parker's Cove. And uh, they were going to have a parade there that day. And so I thought, okay, I'll go, I'll go and paint, and I'll, then I'll be able to, you know, watch the parade. And so I, I probably got there at nine or ten in the morning, and and so I found a little spot to paint up on a hillside overlooking the ocean. And I, that's the painting in the back here, that Parker's Cove. And it was a nice misty day. And so, anyways, eleven o'clock, the uh, parade started, and a gentleman came that I had talked to in the morning with his shiny red sports car leading the parade, and it was just him. He was the only vehicle, uh, and the, the people from the village were walking behind him with their flags, and you know, it was, that was their parade. It was so quaint and so neat. But during the day, they had music. They had live music on a bandstand, and the people were, you know, fiddling and playing their, it was just beautiful. And I was up on the hillside, and, and you know, I could hear this music drifting up the hillside. And, and uh, during, throughout the day, people knew I was up there, and so pretty soon there'd be this little, you know, people would come up the hill and see what I was doing, and <laughs> they wanted to know what was going on. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it was just an incredible trip, uh, in, incredible scenery. Uh, the people, uh, Jillian and her family that I was connected with while I was there in the evenings, we would travel. They wanted me to see a lot of different things, because there's so much to see and they knew all of these neat sites and so on. So we would go in the evenings on drives and they, they took me to different parts of, you know, other places that I wouldn't have gotten to. And so that was just so incredible to see some of these quaint little villages and fishing towns and the, uh, you know, the landscape there too is very rocky and mountainous kind of, you know, it's not what you would, not, would really expect to see and they have a lot of moose. Uh, <laughs> so you have to watch out for the moose when you're on the road, you know, but anyway, um, so it was wonderful uh, opportunity for me and so I came back and I, I filled two sketchbooks. I have a note journal there with a lot of sketches in it and I have a big sketchbook and um, from those I did a lot of paintings. I did some of the paintings while I was there, plein air painting, like this is, this is one and the one in the corner and there's a few, you know, I, I couldn't paint them all of course during that two week period. A lot of it was finding the material and finding the places to paint. And then I came home and uh, finished the rest of the paintings and, and put together a show. So anyway, um, 
just wanted, and, and the funny thing was, while I was there, Rena and I one evening decided, to, I don't know, one of us texted the other, I can't really remember how that went, and here Rena was there, uh, up in the north end of, the, you know, and here I was down in the south, and so we, we never did see each other, but we texted back and forth, <laughs> which was such a fun thing to, you know, talking about our discoveries of the day and, and what we were doing and uh, comparing notes and so on. So anyways, uh, again, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy the paintings. Ask me any questions if you have any. Um, you know, as I said, each one is from a special location and you'll just get the feeling of the, the vibe from there, the eclectic, interesting, quaint little towns and so on. So thank you. Thank you, Suzanne. Yeah. So for those watching the video, um, seeing all these beautiful paintings uh, on video is one thing, but if you have a chance to come down and see them in person, I would certainly invite you to do that and encourage you to do that. These paintings behind me are created from a scene called the Dungeons, which is along the east coast of Newfoundland, uh, painted in layers of transparent acrylic. Um, it's an incredible place that people go to visit where the waves crash against the shores and, and uh, there's dungeons that have been created through history, through time, uh, where the waves have crashed and, and cut underneath the rocks and there's big caverns, so it's, it's an incredible place to go visit. Um, and so that's what these two paintings here are about. Um, next to me is a painting um, along the Buren Peninsula and a fisherman uh, out on the docks and they're hauling ashore their gill nets. Uh, an incredible experience that I had um, one morning as I was going along the coastline looking for a spot to paint, I came ac across these fishermen and was so thrilled to find them un actually unloading their nets off of the boats. And uh, again, painted with uh, many layers of transparent acrylic and with layers of opaque on top. And uh, bringing out the the feel of the East Coast and the, um, the nostalgic, eclectic feeling, you know, of the fishermen along the, the coast. So while I was traveling along the Buren Peninsula, I would go in and out of the little villages and all the little, little fishing towns and, um, you know, little side roads. And I did a lot of exploring and came across so many beautiful scenes. And this particular spot here, there was a, a, a fishing, uh, there was docks and there was, I think, probably canneries and, and then way out across the, the water was this old fishing stage. And it, this was one that was actually falling apart, but it just sort of spoke to me and uh, I loved the scene and um, it was kind of misty and beautiful. You know, the landscape was incredible. And so this is the largest painting that I did in this collection. It's uh, 36 by 48, and um, I wanted to, uh, you know, zoom right in on this old fishing stage and capture the feel of this quaint, um, kind of mysterious place. And, uh, you know, the sunlight was coming in through the trees and casting shadows um, along the, the water from the old fishing stage, and, you know, Layers again of transparent watercolor and opaques over top and, and sort of a mysterious feel to this painting. So this painting is titled Happy 150th Birthday Canada and this is a, a scene from right within Bain Harbor. This is where I actually went to and was staying in a cute little house right on the ocean uh, just a few feet from the water and surrounded by the, the docks and the boats and it was so amazing. And, uh, the Newfoundland people are very proud of their heritage and of their towns and, and so as you can see there was a flag flying atop this little barn and so I chose to paint that as my happy 150th birthday Canada painting and uh, the people are out for walks with their kids and, and you can see the, the boats on the shoreline here uh, as well. And uh, again, painted in acrylic and uh, celebrating Canada's birthday with the locals. It was an amazing experience. 
So uh, I visited Newfoundland um, toward the end of June, um, the 23rd of June to the 7th of July, I believe it was. And during that time, you know, toward the end of June, all the icebergs are floating down from Iceland and they flowed into the bay at near Bonavista. So we were fortunate that day, we took a drive to the Bonavista area um, and saw many icebergs out in the water. And amazingly too, on that particular day, there was a fisherman, he was out in the water setting out his lobster pots. And so it was just an incredible experience, how fitting and how timeless that was to actually get to see the fishermen out there setting out those lobster pots and they like to push put them around the icebergs because uh, that's where the great fishing is apparently for the lobsters and so that's what this painting is about it's got some of the icebergs in it and you can see how off in the distance there's you know more icebergs but some of the icebergs are incredible in size it's, it's amazing what you see so uh, again painted in acrylic and I've used some medium and some gels to um, put texture in those icebergs. I want it was a, you know I was experimenting and trying some different techniques, and uh, yeah, what a, an amazing day that was to be there and see all of that.